Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Ocean's Heart. This is like a specifically 2D Zelda inspired, it seems like, a little indie game that seems really cool and I'm super into. Lots of puzzles, a little bit of uh, classic combat, seems neat, so let's go ahead and hop in. This is a, this is a fun little song playing currently. Got a little old man fishing down there. This is the village. Yep, I'm gonna wake up out of the bed, because of course I am. Yeah! A good start to any RPG. You're asleep in your bed and your mom comes and wakes you up, or you wake up. Looks like your sister Lyndon has been reading the book she borrowed from Hazel. She's learning about growing barley and hops. Uh... Huh. Okay. Sorry, I felt a- I felt a little weird stiffness with using the analog stick, so I was like, do they want you to use the, uh... D-pad here, but maybe maybe I was just hallucinating. As a reminder, you've written yourself. Remember to open the menu and save the game from time to time. What did you mean by that? Oh god, do we actually have to manually save? I don't even... Oh, is it LB? Yeah, okay, it's LB. Sure, let's save. God, I gotta remember to save. Oh no. That's awful. Use the spacebar to interact with the world. I'm using a controller, actually. Maybe I should be using keyboard? I don't know. It feels weird to be playing as like a 2D Zelda-like with uh, with a keyboard. That, that would feel awkward. I think. Grab? Why would I want to move this? Just to read this? Your dad has been trying to work out a budget for the tavern. There's a whole bunch of scribbling out. Alright. Dun 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Tina, guess what? That flock of egrets that was pestering us at the pier has moved on. Good morning, Dad. I'm not warning them at all. They were a nuisance. Hey, if you have some time today, could you run up to the mill and get a bottle of whiskey out of the secret storage cave? Juggling's had a poor month with the fishing, and I want to give him something. No problem, Dad. Thanks, little gull. The cave is on the north side of the island. Write it down in your quest log in case you forgot. Daughter, why do you have a quest log? Chores this week. Sweeping, linden, dishes, Telia, balance ledger, Dad. There's some names, dates, amounts, whatever dad writes when he works on the tavern's budget. Also, doodles of ships. Want to be a sailor? Hey, it's my little sister. I thought you died in your sleep. You've been in bed so long. Hey, it's my older sister. I thought you were busy being responsible and figuring out how to run our tavern better. Haha, uh -huh, yes I have. Hey, the new stout you started brewing is doing really well. You're doing your part around here too. I mean, Hazel helped a lot with the brewing. I'm better at fighting off the monsters that attacked us when we were gathering herbs. Maybe you're better with a sword than a stout, but I'm glad the three of us are making this work. Can you do the dishes? Oh, uh, nope. Dad needs me to go out to the secret storage cave to get something. Will that take all day? Who knows? I definitely won't have time to do dishes, though. Yeah, getting out of doing the dishes. A tale as old as time. Press D to open your menu. Okay, you know what? Maybe... Maybe I should use mouse keyboard. Press D to open your menu. Wait. D is open my menu. Uh, no, no, we're gonna stick with we're gonna stick with this. D to open your menu. You can scroll left and right between different subscreens. You can save your game on the status. Yeah, they don't have uh, button prompts in here yet. So we're on limestone. Here's my quest log. Okay, and we can switch to that. Okay, got it. All right. So what all do we got here? The door is locked. It's an RPG town. We gotta to explore it, right? Do I have like a sprint button? I don't have the Pegasus boots yet. Eh, Tilia, did your friend Hazel tell my apprentice that willow leaves are magic medicine or something? He's been stashing leaves in a pot for my headaches instead of chopping timber like he should be. It's giving me a headache. I don't know if Hazel told him that, but she's usually right when it comes to plants and stuff. Did you try eating the willow leaves? Eh, I haven't tried them. Huh. What an idiot. Uh, Celia, I was chopping down some timber by the ruin and noticed that the rocks blocking the way in looked really weak. I bet if someone could cause an explosion somehow, they'd be able to get in. All it'd take is an explosion. Just a little old explosion. Yeah, I guess when you put it like that, it does sound unlikely that you'd have the means to cause a con controlled explosion here on the island. Oh, Hazel was looking for you earlier. She's up on the hill. Thanks, Bear. Yeah, you just happen to have some bombs lying on you? No? Oh. Okay. Ooh, grass. Let's cause a fire. Or feed the fire. No? No money in here? Let's throw leaves at this kid. 
Nerd. All right, well, nothing. Well, yeah, let's talk to Fisherman Boy. Uh, you can't get into your house unless you did. Can I move those? Whoop. Come on. How do you get into your house, sir? Do you just live out here? Oh, Atelia, your dad giving you any more training with your sword today? Probably not. He's been busy doing the tavern budget. Well, don't fret none. He's a fine volunteer navyman. He'll be trained up to take his place there one day. Volunteer navyman, huh? That's the tavern. He said north was where we had to go, so what's down here? I just want to explore all of the optional stuff. Oh god. Okay, well that's a thing. Also, I drowned while I was on the boat. Because I'm guessing the boat isn't an actual object in the game world. It's more just like a piece of art. So I drowned on the boat. Like, I, I landed on the boat and drowned. But, so we can't just jump in water. Not yet. We probably need fins or something for that. Flippers. Did I go in this house? Oh yeah, that was the one that was locked. Okay. Just want to make sure I'm not missing something. Try to be thorough. I always end up missing something. Get out of here, lavender. I'm destroying people's flowers. They worked hard to grow these to raise their island rating, and I'm just destroying them. Good old Animal Crossing jokes. Who's here for that? Uh... Nothing in here. Just a bunch of flowers. Oh, cool. The flowers grew back. Wow, that's amazing that they can grow back that quickly after being destroyed by a manic person like me. Is this the place you're talking about? I don't think I can get up there right now, at least. You got a bird dock root? What, is, what does that do? Is that, a, is that like effectively a Deku stick? Might be effectively a Deku stick. Let's see if we can... Uh... Oh, it's a crafting material. I think that's that stuff on the right side. I think that's crafting materials, because this game does have crafting. And I, it's basically that, like, crafting that was added in, um, like, Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild. A very limited crafting, but a crafting system nonetheless. Telia, I came by the tavern hours ago. Did you just wake up? Anyway, I have something for you. Got your sword. Your dad gave you this a long time ago, and you said you wanted to defend your island like him. Press the attack button to use it. I left it at my house last night. Is your dad teaching you any volunteer navy stuff today? How to skin a monster? Nah, I'm just running an errand for him. Getting some whiskey out of the secret storage cave. Oh, well, it's a good thing I gave you your sword. There's a big witch hazel bush in front of the cave. If you cut it down, be sure to collect its flowers. They can be used to make potions and stuff. Maybe you can make one that'll wake you up in the mornings, Telia. Or I could brew a potion that puts you to sleep earlier instead of keeping me up all night trying to help you find moon mushrooms. You can't find them during the day anyway. Go get that whiskey, and when you're done with your errands, let's talk. Let's take your dad's boat over to Bracken Beach. Sure, I'll go get that whiskey and we'll leave right after. Our characters, uh... Quite sassy <laughs> with these characters when they when they start when they start throwing shade at her she 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 throws back she's like well maybe if you okay so I can okay B is the attack button got it so I can cut this stuff now instead of having to pick it up like a loser and throw it uh can't destroy those there's the rubble that uh that boy was talking about. I can't move these, can I? It's too heavy for you to lift, yeah. We need the Goron Gauntlets or the Power Bracelet. The Goron Bracelet is actually it, it's not Gauntlets. I'm thinking of Silver and Gold Gauntlets. Uh... Slash, slash, slash. So what am I supposed to do now that I've got my sword? I'm guessing go up here. Yeah, because we haven't been up here yet. Can I cut the wheat? Can't. We might run into wild Pokemon, though. Get ready, here comes a Pikachu. Slash, slash, slash. Nothing. Maybe I should stop cutting those. I'm not getting a lot from them. Branch of Witch Hazel flowers. Alright. And what do you say? Mallow's Secret Storage Cave. This way, don't tell anyone. And why do you have a sign? Why do you have a sign, then, sir? Destroy the pots. We're finally getting to do what you're supposed to do in a Zelda game. Uh... 
You found a berry. Eat it to restore half a heart. You can use healing items from the menu. Okay, I should probably save those. Just in case we get a heal at some point in this, uh, place just naturally. Oh, I can just destroy pots with my sword. That's right. I'm stupid. I was picking them up this whole time. We not to fight these birds. Uh, is that not what I need? I guess it's over there. Use the action button to read signs. Use your sword to interact with switches. Yeah, we chop switches, we don't just... Oh god. Is that an earthquake? Explosion? Glad it didn't happen while I was walking across, but it sounded like some kind of cave-in back by the entrance. Well, I think there's another way out deeper in. Luckily? Otherwise we'd be screwed. At least we got some whiskey in case we get trapped down here. Uh, I didn't mean to do that, whoopsie. Got to keep in mind that you can't just walk off a bridge, they won't stop you here. Use the action button to grab objects and walk forward to push them. Some objects can be pulled as well. Yup. Alright. Press the action button to roll to avoid enemies. Eat it, nerd. Dead. Uh... Okay, we're gonna have to push one of these boxes on there. Got that. Wait, what was that, uh, interact prompt? It was just to grab that. Alright. Push that on there. And push you out of the way, I suppose. I never realized there was an old shrine to the ocean goddess way back here. This has probably been here hundreds of years. Neat. Hmm. I can't do anything with it, unfortunately. I thought maybe I would be able to do something special. Can you pull the statue? You can. I thought the statues would maybe be one of the things you can't just pull. Oh no, Keese! Get out of here, Keese. You jerks. Huh. That's maybe a spot I should keep in mind for when I have the ability to swim? Hmm. I'll try and remember it. I don't have my notepad. Oh god! Uh... Of course, some big monster is lurking between me and my way out. Well, I want to join the Volunteer Navy, and taking care of these gross things is part of that. I can handle this. You can do it, Telia. Oh god. Uh. Is this like a- I thought it was a re-dead, basically. Oh god, no, I need the berry. Shit. Uh, okay, you know what, maybe we should go ahead and heal. I was trying to save my items, but... Ow. Ow. Jerk. Ah. It's these rocks and that guy. Jeez, it's getting my ass kicked there. Okay, well at least we got a lot of berries to pick up. Jeez. Uh... There. You can jump down from some ledges, just walk towards them. Well, we can get some more of these things. Not really sure what they're useful for yet, but, uh, might as well grab them, right? Oh god, everything's on fire! Oh my god, it's the start to every RPG ever. You're- you're living in your town and it gets set on fire, and that- that starts your hero's quest. <laughs> I don't particularly mind the trope, I just find it funny how often it does happen. Hello, Mom? Tilly, I'm so glad you're safe. I tried to block off the tavern with barrels, but they were throwing bombs. I don't know what they come for, came for, but Dad ran off to fight them. I guess it's his duty as a volunteer navy man. He's down at the pier. Okay, so also our dad's probably gonna die? Our town's gonna burn down and our dad's gonna die. Hey, man. Celia, where have you been? Pirates with a white hourglass on their flag attacked the village. They raided the old ruin up on the mountain and lit everything up. Hazel's house is burning awful. Your sister Lyndon is fine, and your dad? He's at the pier. Go see him. Is he okay? Uh... These pirates started tossing explosives everywhere. Our roofs are t literally made of grass. This is the worst material. Why would pirates attack us? To raid the old ruin on the mountain? I don't get it. Yeah, your... <laughs> your roofs are really made of grass. That's unfortunate, isn't it? But hey, if it's all you got, it's all you got. Oh god, I'm sorry, Dad. I remember when I jumped into the water and almost drowned when I was trying to save you? Celia, I know you'd be fine somehow. You got your father's wits about you. My wits. They're excellent wits. 
Dad, what happened? Is everyone all right? Pirates flying a white hourglass when their flag attacked. They raided that old ruin up on the mountain. Most of us got away, but... But what? Hazel was up the mountain collecting herbs. The pirates threw her into a barrel and rolled her off with whatever they took from the ruin. They kidnapped Hazel? We have to go help- we have to get some help then. Tilly, I am the help. I'm a volunteer navy man. It's my duty to take care of this island. Yours too if you want to join someday. But you're not leaving though. You have to teach me how to fight monsters and pirates and run the tavern. Sorry, little girl. You'll be fine. They've just sailed away. It shouldn't take me more than a week or two to catch up and get Hazel. Alone? They have explosives, man. I'll be back home before you realize it. You and Lyndon just watched the tavern for a few days. I also notice your ship doesn't have cannons. How do you expect to fight them in the ship battle, or are you just gonna ride right up on them and board them as a solo badass? I'll be back home before you realize it. You and Lyndon just watched the tavern for a few days. Oh cool, I got healed up. Six months later. Something tells me he's not back yet. Can't read that. Been reading various books on tracking and navigation. There's also some maps of nearby islands. Ah, so our finding our dad is what's going to start off our uh, hero's journey. Okay, is that just sleeping? Cool. Okay. I thought maybe there was... I don't know, something to get from the bed. Was a reminder you've written yourself. Remember to open the menu? Okay, yeah. I probably should do that now, huh? There. There's a messy, scribbled-up attempt to work out a budget for the tavern. Okay, yeah, none of this stuff's changed, it seems. Lyndon has been trying to work out a budget for the tavern. All the lines and columns are lined up neatly. Does she use a ruler for this? <laughs> okay. So that was different. So, Telia, today's really the day? I've been talking myself up for a couple of months now. If Hazel and Dad aren't back yet, then... Well, I'll bring them back somehow. It's not just because I make you do the dishes every night, is it? Lyndon, you keeping the tavern running since Dad left has been inspiring for everyone, but I... Anyway, Juggling is meeting me soon. So he's taking you to Goat's Head Harbor to look for leads, huh? I know the pirates flew a white hourglass on their flag. Seems like enough to get me started. You'll find them. Remember to get enough sleep. Staying at an inn will heal you, but you can always come home and sleep here too. You sound like Juggling. Don't worry so much. I love you, Lyndon. I love you too. I'll see you when you're back home with Dad and Hazel. I'm sure if you ask around in the right places, you'll find clues. Be sure to come back and visit from time to time. Now get going. Hello, kid. Yeah, Talia? Here you're looking for Mallow and Hazel. I mean, they're both tough, but it's been... Well, good luck. Hey, if you're gonna be passive-aggressive like that, get out of my tavern and go drink seawater. I'm going to find them. Oh, uh, sorry, Talia. Thanks for being the one to go look for them. Oh, wow, what an asshole. <laughs> yeah, seriously, he was being passive-aggressive. Uh, should I go check in on everyone else's houses, potentially? Well, it looks like some of them might have burned down, unfortunately. I can go over here and grab more of these things. Not that I know what they're used for yet. But hey, we got six of them. I'm sure basically the equivalent of Deku sticks will probably be pretty useful. Oh, here we go. A rare ghost orchid. Okay, I'm glad I looked back here. And don't know what that's for, but it says it's rare, so I'm going to trust the game. Hmm. Anything else hanging out back here? Oh, this is cleared now. Yeah, we can probably go in there. I mean, that's too heavy for us to lift still. But I clearly see something under there. I forget how bad the pirates messed up the sanctuary. Left explosives lying around everywhere, too. Ugh. Uh... Oh, okay, these are bombs. Can I, like, light them? Oh, they're already lit. Okay. You're bat. Oh, God. Okay, I thought that was gonna explode on me. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Whatever. Treasure chest? Ten crowns. Okay, I, I was wondering if this was gonna, like, be open now and I could access it. I'm glad I came over here. I could've just left right on the boat, I think. And I would've completely missed this. Alright. Give me some more bombs. Ow! Okay, maybe we should, uh... Maybe we should heal up, methinks. God. Getting really messed up. I probably don't even need to be doing this, right? I'm just thinking maybe one of them will, like, open something? Never mind. Uh... 
My health increased by one. Ooh, okay. So that was totally worth coming in here for. Well, I'm glad I did that. Free health upgrade. It wasn't free. I still got my ass exploded, but, you know. Mostly free. Just with some probably permanent ass damage. Potential scarring. But, uh, hey. We, we can just heal that right up with a potion, can't we? Alright, so what else is here? Hi. Ah, oh, so you're off to find old Mallow, eh? I'm sure he's fine and has good reason for being away so long. Yeah, I'm sure. It's a really nice carving of a deer? Rabbit, maybe? Still in progress. Take the knife. Or the hammer. That might be useful. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything in here. I can just see that carving. Maybe, oh wait, maybe if I, maybe if I finish carving it. No, okay. <laughs> I just thought, man, I had an idea. Right, I thought maybe he'd like if I screwed up his carving, probably, with my inferior artistic skills. Yep, sorry, I wanted to talk to you. Alright, Tilio, you all ready to set out? You have your sword? Anchors away. Let's hit the road. The ocean? That's the one. It's time we bring back Dad and Hazel, it's time we bring ba Dad and Hazel back home. Well, this is Goat's Head Harbor. It's no pit of scoundrels, but someone in the sodden Cormorant Tavern might have seen the pirates. Thanks, Juglin. I'm sure I'll be back soon. Right, well, be careful. The sodden Cormorant Cor is in the northwest part of town. Remember to craft potions if you need. Juglin, I'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, take the sea chart. When you need to sail back to limestone, this will help. Wouldn't want to hit a shoal or anything. Juglin, I'll be fine. Thank you, though. Found a sea chart of Limestone Island. This could be used to allow someone to navigate there without issue. Cool. Most of the sailors working on the docks here drink the sodden cormorant, including the man who owns the warehouse at the end of the dock, which is weird. Because beetle-eyed Bartholomew is a brewer himself. I heard the tavern owner was looking for him. Something about money? Hmm. Okay, can I actually craft stuff yet? He said to make potions if... Um, my health gets low, but I don't really see a way to create potions. I don't really see a way to create potions. Not yet. I probably have to have like an actual brewing table or something, right? So let's just ignore that for now. It happened. I picked up a crate and forgot entirely where I was headed with it. <laughs> I like the dialogue in this game so far. It's pretty funny. What are you doing on the pier? You aren't a dock worker. Do you even lift crates? <laughs> Do I even lift? Getting that getting that meme out, dusting it off. It's nice that I'm not moving illicit beer to the warehouse for Beetle Light Bart anymore. I don't mind the work, but the beer tasted awful when I stole it. Oh sorry. If small crates are in your way, you can just push them aside. If you get them stuck, just leave this area and come back and you can try again. Wow, thanks. I guess you move them back for me? Yeah, it's probably just like, yeah, like that. Five crowns. I'm just gonna go ahead and warn everybody right now. Absolutely shit at, uh, block pushing puzzles or Sokoban or whatever. Psst. Hey, you wanna buy some crabs? Nothing shady about them, I'm just secretive because I don't have my paperwork filled with the Merchant's Guild. Can't afford to, what with the taxes they charge to anyone from Crabhook Village. Sorry, I don't need crabs. Totally, Bartholomew's totally legitimate warehouse. Ugh, my prices are being undercut by those thugs from Crab Hook Village. Their paperwork probably isn't even done. They have no respect for the good old Merchant Guild does. Keeps our city from becoming a den of pirates like it is out in Ballast Harbor. Anyway, fresh cut here, just 300 crowns each. Oh, I have close to that much. Hey, got fresh-ish fish here, as fresh as they can be smuggled into the city. I mean, you can pay the stupidly taxed price for, like, real fresh fish, or you can make do. Open your mind to the possibilities. Okay, so we already got some stuff going on with the politics of this area. The, uh, taxes on fish are apparently super high, so there's all kinds of smugglers smuggling them in and having fake papers. Why are there slimes in here? Excuse me, did you just- uh, that slime explodes. 20 crowns. Steal and money. Okay. That moves the hook. Allows us to get over here. Oh god. Okay, those little black spots are slimes. Coral ore. Using this rare material, blacksmiths can strengthen your equipment. Okay, that's a good find. 
I'm glad I'm robbing this warehouse and there was no one guarding it. Oh god, I got the attack buttons mixed up. There was just nobody guarding this warehouse with all kinds of useful things in it. Including money. Just straight up cash money. Interesting. Not sure why somebody wasn't guarding this. Alright, so now what? So we've taken care of all that stuff. What's in here? Ah! This is the blacksmith. Constant orders of helmets and shields for the town guard. That's all I get around here these days. Hmm. <laughs> that volunteer navy armor you've got on, isn't it? A little big. Could use it for improvements, too. Tell you what, I can upgrade your- improve your armor for 50 crowns. Uh... Sounds great. That's the spirit. Let's get some more pad in here, some chain link here. Done. Your defense increased by one. Cool. Where's that listed? Yeah, armor level three, sword damage one. Okay, so let's upgrade our sword damage now. Hopefully it doesn't cost too much. Damn it. <laughs> I need five crowns. Damn it all. Okay, have we talked to you? New face in Goatshead Harbor, Harm huh? Not a smuggler, are you? Ah, uh, just joking. But watch out for smugglers, they're no joke. Not that we town guards couldn't handle them, we're the strongest guards there are. Mm. The guard flexes vehemently. <laughs> yeah, the dialogue's pretty well done in this. I like the dialogue. It's got some good writing. Hello. What are you kids up to, huh? Me and my friends were exploring with no intention to graffiti the giant statue at all, but then it got angry and swallowed a kid. He was trying to climb its knee when it happened. I think the statue has a ticklish knee. I hate being tickled. Oh no, the statue swallowed a child. Shouldn't you guys, like, tell the authorities or something? <laughs> Did you know there's a giant man west of here? It's supposed to be a statue, but it's alive. It ate Clyde. I mean, I feel like that's worth investigating, but also I want to investigate the rest of the town first. We'll, we'll deal with the kid that got eaten by a statue later. Shady pot salesman. Interested in some crockery. Perhaps a stock part or ramekin. I even have terrines. Oh, maybe like an empty bottle? I could see that being useful if I wanted to carry some water with me. Maybe to put a bug into. What? Why a bottle? Why? A bottle would have to be magic to use it like that. Would it? Water or a bug in a bottle? Would it have to be magic? I mean, I know that it's a Zelda reference, but... Hey, you look like the adventuring type. My sister runs the shop behind me. If you want supplies to keep your health bar up, to keep your health up, or potions to make you stronger, take a look inside. Sometimes she sells ammunition like arrows, too. Alright, is this where I actually brew? Like, do I not actually do the brewing? Does somebody else have to do it? For me? Hey there, looking to sell some of those delightful items you've collected? Oh, I can sell one of these for five crowns. I might do that. Ah, and here's where I craft. Elixir Vitae. What is that? That probably increases my max health, right? Because it requires that rare thing that I got. Okay, and Seeker Eyes used those sticks that I got. Along with Burly Blade Potion, which is probably an attack increase. Alright. Need to do some shopping, love? Uh, Elixir. Recovers all health or revives you after KO. Oh, no, is that what that is? Elixir. Yeah, that, that's probably- that, that's basically just a fairy. Well, I don't need any of that at all, but I do want to sell one of my sticks. Yes. Alright, now let's go upgrade my sword. Now that we got the money to do so. Yeah, this is pretty neat so far. I'm quite into this. I don't know your first name, but it looks like your middle name is Danger. How about upgrading your sword? <laughs> Sword is improved and now deals more damage. <laughs> I just don't expect the dialogue sometimes. <laughs> it's funny. I know there's an armor around here somewhere. I'm a member of the Merchant's Guild and we need him to help outfit our guards. If the merchants don't hire guards to do our bidding, then pirates might start showing up to sell soul and goods. Or just like general riffraff. We need guards to make sure we can do business. Oh no, not the riffraff. Look, I know this isn't in my best interest, but if you just explore around the world, you'll probably find some berries or apples. You can collect these and eat them later when you aren't feeling well, and they'll help a little. Of course, if you know that, you're going into a tough battle. Maybe just buy some bread or potions. Those are a lot more effective, but don't grow on trees. I just don't understand. If you're selling fruit, why do you have tomatoes? Are they... hmm... 
Yes, tomato is a fruit. It's all well and good to cook fruit, but I really want to learn to cook with foraged ingredients out in the wilderness. You can recognize certain plants that are useful. Cut them down and collect them. You can make potions at crafting tables, but I'm wondering, can you make pies that also give you stat boosts? Or salads? I hope so. Stat boost pie sounds good. Yes, let's pull the entire wall down with our immense strength. Get out of Easter here, be careful. There's a rainy ravine you can get to through a tunnel. I heard people that go there, it makes their journeys much harder. All right, so that's out to the right. Hello. This is where the town guards live. The barbelled brutes is what they call us. I'm all about it. What business do you have here? I don't suppose anything. I'm not a t I'm not a town to guard. Yeah, you're not. Well. Once again, shining dialogue. There's a to-do list that says get stronger. It's the only item. Get good literally is all that's on their to-do list. It's actually it. I haven't seen you around before. Well, here's a goat's head fact. The town was founded years ago, before the Great Flood. The founder, Heron, enshrined his sword up on Heron Hill to symbolize peace. Right after that was the Flood and he killed- and he was killed by sea monsters. His ghost is supposedly still up there. That was a goat's head fact. Oh no, can I get a better sword than what I got? There's a town called Crabhook if you follow the west road out of town. Lots of people around here don't like to visit it, so they never pave the road. That's also where the statue that eats children is. There's a statue for sale that looks like someone sculpted it specifically for a caricature of a greedy person to keep in their home. <laughs> very specific and very funny. The pot looks so fragile it would shatter if you put a leaf on it. There's a note shoved in the book's pages. Ask Blamar for a refund. His sculptures are too artistic for goat's head citizens. Several vases that look meant to be look very old. You aren't sure what you would put in them. Okay, I can't interact with those. The, this is a boutique of rare, hand-selected items from across the world. We cater to a specific clientele, which... Well, not you. Oh. Some fancy way of burning candles. Alright, well, I'm out of here, jerk. Rich asshole. Eat the rich. Uh, okay, so... Where are we at? Where are we doing? Uh, up? Have you seen the ruins just west of town near the ferry? It's an old tomb. Quite a lovely little tourist destination, honestly, if a bit grim. So I was weeding my garden last week. Bear with me, this story has a point. But I was weeding and pulled up a bush, and underneath the bush was a hole. I was off my balance and wasn't expecting that, so I fell right into it. And wouldn't you know, there's a pirate cache down the hole, some treasure. I figure any other buried treasure must be hidden under some distinctive markings, so the pirates can remember where they left their cache. All right, I gotta remember that. Quest complete. Oh yeah, I just gotta go here and ask for information. There's a ghost in this town. At night, he strikes, preying on merchants. He sneaks into their offices, finds the ledgers and records, and in the morning, they're obliterated, covered in ink, illegible. They call him the Phantom Squid. I can't even order dark-colored drinks I'm so shook up about. <laughs> what do you want, kid? I'm looking for a crew of pirates. They fly a white hourglass on their flag. I used to be a pirate myself. Plundered out past Yarrowmouth Island. Ended up splitting from me crew when they joined the Pirates Council. But I couldn't be a servant to those overambitious dogs. They think they can rule the seas like the ancient. He lapses into muttered complaints. Okay. Eh? Eh? Seems like you're the type who can handle some odd jobs of the dangerous sort. Folk often hang notices for volunteer navy men in taverns. Ooh. Me fishing spot along with all the carrots I left there has been overrun by monsters. I need someone to take them out for me. I'll be waiting on the east edge of town for help, next to the goat pen. Let it be known that the Merchant's Guild seeks an adventurer to destroy... to menace... to commerce... N known... Uh, to destroy... the menace... Okay, wait, that, that seems like a typo. Seeks an adventurer to destroy, to menace, to commerce... Known as the Phantom Squid. See Eamon at the guild quarters for hit for details. I imagine it's supposed to say to destroy the menace. I don't know why commerce is there. Maybe I'm just reading this wrong. Guild headquarters. Okay, so east side of town and guild headquarters. You're close. You in a volunteer navy? We are a group of adventurers who know our limits. We might have some work for you. Interested? Uh, I just might be. Tell me more. We're mapping out the old tunnels underneath the city. The town was around back into the days of the... Murian Kingdom, and it's just been stacks on stacks of building. 
So down at the bottom, a whole bunch of good stuff got left and forgotten, but also, there's a bunch of monsters down there too. We don't mess with monsters. We know our limits. They stop at fighting monsters. We need a volunteer navy man. Person. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a girl. <laughs> to clear out the beast. A navy woman. You can keep anything you find that you want as payment. So are you still interested? Sign me up. Excellent. The entrance to the tunnels is just outside the tavern. We'll meet you there and let you in. Have you heard of the city's secret tunnels? I reckon all old cities have secret tunnels. And maybe you could help us with our tunnels. Oh, are you in the volunteer navy? Talk to the guy with the mustache. Okay, yeah, so we've uh, done all of this. Now let's talk to the tavern keeper. Why well, you look like you came in here with a purpose? What's on your mind, kid? I'm tracking a crew of pirates who attacked my hometown. I heard this was a good place to ask after them. They fly a white hourglass. I've heard of the hourglass crew. They like explosives. Hey, any of you drunks know about the hourglass crew? Hourglass? That's two striped triangles, yeah? I was sailing around Spruce Head and saw some smoke. This was a while ago, mind. There was also a ship with triangles on its sails. Come to think of it, I might have plundered Spruce Head Shrine. Might look for clues there. Spruce Head is southwest. That's Lotus Shoal. You know what? Let's add it to your map. You've seen that in the pause menu, right? You know, you aren't the first one in volunteer navy colors who's hunting these pirates. A tall man with a beard was asking everyone in Ballast Harbor about them. Seem to hear something from a man selling sea charts. You might have to find a way to Ballast Harbor and seek out the fellows selling sea charts. Ballast Harbor is a pirate market, so I don't know exactly where it is to give directions. Alright, so we've got the pirates looting the shrine out of Spruce Head, west of here, and someone who's seen them in Ballast Harbor. Sounds like you got a couple of leads to follow. I'll leave you to it then. I realized I gave her voice to this guy. At one point there. I thought she was the one talking. Okay, we're... Still a little hurt. But, what's in this? Okay, this is this is the tunnel. Yeah, I mean the like dungeon place that they were talking about. Juneberry Inn, yeah. My customer, great. This is Juneberry Inn. We have one room open at the moment at the end of the hall. The other room isn't open. It's locked. The last guest accidentally took the key with them. And uh, well, anybody you want to stay? I don't have thirty crowns, man. I will explore though, because maybe there maybe somebody left crowns in here. No, no. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, and I bet I can find that key at some point and get access to whatever that is. Alright, where's this person that's uh, apparently hiding out by the goats? That's what it said, right? You seen the ruins just west of town near the ferry? Yeah, is it you? The secret danger tunnels are down here. So I was leading my garden. Uh, you said there was a person by the goat pen, right? That had a quest for me? Let's see. Um, side quest. Adventures who, yeah. Chart salesman and spruce head. Okay. Let's go reinvestigate this. The fishing spot along with all the carrots left there. I'm waiting on the east side of town for help next to the goat pen. Merchant skilled seeks an adventure destroyer. Yeah. So we gotta get to the merchant skilled and. I mean, there is a ghost- a goat pin right here, but maybe it's the wrong goat pin? Uh... I don't see another goat pin, man. I do not see another goat pin. That appears to be the only goat pin. Huh. Okay, I don't know what to do about that, but where's the merchant skills? Hmm. Oh wait, east east side of town. Whoops. Uh something just fell. The cats are being stupid. Uh east side of town, goat pin. Ah! Please I'm stuck. I still oh my god, I still regularly get uh my east and west mixed up. But for the most part I think I'm pretty good with it now. Alright, what's all this stuff? You weren't the guild, right? Yeah, no. Room call, yeah. Did I ever go in here? Yeah, this is just the guards' quarters. Okay, I don't know where this, uh... Oh, there's more town here. Oh. Oh, are you in the volunteer navy colors? I got you a job. My fishing spot's been overtaken by beast, and I left my, correct my carrot stash there. 
man who takes his carrots seriously. Now, I'm a man who takes his carrots seriously. I just can't abide. I'll pay 80 crowns so you can clear out those monsters. Fix the spot is just east of here. Little Island. Lots of carrots and monsters, which is the problem. <laughs> man who takes his carrots seriously. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's chop all these. I still don't know where this uh, merchant's guild is. Heading out of town, watch out for all the monsters. They can be pretty strong, which I respect about them. Oh, is this? When you know it, pirates forming cartels or whatever. I can take that, but now they've got nit nitrodendron growing around here? Ugh, you see that plant with the thorns? That's nitrodendron. The thorns hurt, obviously, but it's the flowers that are the problem. They're explosive. Super dangerous and they glow back, grow back right away. I have no idea how to weed. Yep, bomb flowers. So you said you were near a goat pin. Where is this goat pin you were supposedly near? I do not see a goat pin anywhere. Ever heard of the Merchant's Guild girl? Supposedly monopolizing bureaucratic folks who gouge prices to line their pockets with silk. Putting in an application to join today. Sounds like the place to be. Nah, screw that. Bunch of corrupt assholes. It's the headquarters of the Merchant's Guild. You don't need a password to get in or anything, but you're not really welcome. Used to be we wouldn't have to guard the gate to the Merchant's Guild, but with the Phantom Squid attacking, ugh, trouble. I don't really want to stop this Phantom Squid character, I'm gonna be honest. Sounds like a vigilante I can get behind. Haughty toddy man. Oh, you interested in learning about what us merchants do here? We're really responsible for keeping all of the goats' head pro orderly. By using the power of economics, keeping everything from becoming unstable. I only had time for my life to be so improved by some man in a library explaining things to me. Unfortunately, I need to go. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Eamon sneaking up behind me again. He's always zigzagging through here. Must be a nervous habit. Because he always starts at the north of the room, walks like a Z down to the other end, and then back to the north port. Um... So various untapped markets listed down. It appears they're being crossed off one by one. Okay, so wait, what did you say? It's Eamon sneaking up behind me again. He's always zigzagging through here. Must be a nervous habit. Because he always starts at the north end of the room walks like a Z down to the other end, and then back to the north part. Looks like a Z? Oh! So there, there, here, uh, oh, wait. I input it wrong. So, Z, so it should be like this? Then this. Then down here. And then like here? No? Like I'm thinking Z, so it goes like this. And then it goes down here. And then it's here? And then down here. And then here. And then down here, and then here. No? Huh. Because he always starts at the north end of the room, walks like a Z down to the other end, and then back up to the north part. Okay, so that's... Here. And then, oh, I probably gotta press them all like this. So you, down here, down here, down here. All right, and then we go like this, back up this way, like this, then this one, like this, like this one, and then like this. Was that not it? Come on! This is clearly like a secret door. Like, I don't, I don't see what other way they could possibly mean than this. This is in a Z configuration. Then I go down here, like that, then down here, like that. Then we go like this, up here, like this. Okay, let's, let's try it the reverse order this time. Let's do this, this, and then this. No. What the hell, man? I thought for sure that was it. We're listing the colors of various ships and presenting argument against higher taxation for uglier vessels. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. 
It's a book listing colors and trying to describe each with words. In fairness, that's a tough task. Hmm. There's a pattern to the colors, though. Red, green, yellow, yellow, red. Okay, so... Red... Green... Yellow... Yellow... And red. What? Red... Green... Yellow... Ye yellow... Red. Do I have to exit the room and try it again? Like, I actually have the convert- like, the combination now and it's still not working. Red... Green... Yellow... Yellow... And red. What? Well, listen, color shadows in fantasy. Red, green, yellow, yellow, red. What? Uh. My God, I is the door unlocked now? Like, can I just? No, I can't push it. Okay, let's try this. Red. Okay, so. Red. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Like, I'm trying to go through it at the actual Z formation now. Okay, maybe it's like this. Red. Green. Yellow, yellow. Red. Red. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Red. Red. Green. Yellow, yellow. Red. Okay, I just don't know. I, I, don't, I don't get this. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Oh well. Maybe somebody in the comments can tell me. Because I, I don't see it. Maybe I'm just missing something stupid, but yeah. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Ocean's Heart, though. I, b I believe that's the name of it, right? You know what? Let's go ahead and take the time. I'm pretty sure it's called Ocean's Heart, but I want to make sure it is not some other name. Uh, Yeah, Ocean's Heart. Alright, so yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode. The game's pretty cool. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely into it. I still don't know what I'm doing wrong with that puzzle. Uh, but hopefully I can figure it out by next time, so... I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Ocean's Heart, and I will see you next time.